In this video, we'll learn how to convert among many different units of pressure. Pressure is measured in many different units, including millimeters mercury, atmospheres, torr, pascals, and other units, which we won't learn the conversion factors for in this course, pounds per square inch and bar. Here are the conversion factors. 760 millimeters mercury is the same thing as 760 tors. They changed the name or added a new unit to make it shorter than millimeters mercury. We called it tor in honor of Torricelli, the creator of the first barometer. So 760 millimeters mercury is equal to 760 tor, which is equal to one atmosphere. And one tor, of course, is equal to one millimeters mercury, is equal to 133.322 pascals. So let's do some conversion sample problems. The weather news gives the atmospheric pressure as 1.07 atmospheres. What is this atmospheric pressure in millimeters mercury? So we want to know how many millimeters mercury is our given 1.07 atmospheres. We find a conversion factor to go from atmospheres to millimeters mercury, and we see that 760 millimeters mercury is equal to one atmosphere. Setting up our problem, question mark wanted equals given dot line, Question mark millimeters mercury is equal to 1.07 atmospheres dot line. We set up our conversion factor so that the unit atmospheres cancels out. So we put one atmosphere in the denominator, which is equal to 760 millimeters mercury in the numerator, and we get 813 millimeters mercury. Another problem. The atmospheric pressure in a certain location is 761.3 millimeters mercury. What is this pressure in pascals? So we want to know the pressure in pascals, and we're given the pressure in millimeters mercury, 761.3 millimeters mercury. Our conversion factor is to go from millimeters mercury to pascal, and we know that one millimeter mercury is equal to 133.322 pascals. Setting up our problem, question mark wanted equals given dot line, question mark pascals is equal to 761.3 millimeters mercury dot line. We want to set up our conversion factor so that the unit millimeters mercury cancels out. So we're going to put one millimeter mercury in the denominator, which is equal to 133.322 pascals in the numerator. Multiplying the numerators together and dividing by the denominator, we get 1.015 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Another sample problem. The air pressure inside a submarine is 0.62 atmospheres. What would be the height of a column of mercury balanced by this pressure? So really what they're asking for when they ask about the height of a column of mercury, they want to know millimeters mercury. And our given is 0.62 atmospheres. We need to convert from atmospheres to millimeters mercury, and we know that 760 millimeters mercury is equal to one atmosphere. Setting up our problem, question mark wanted equals given dot line, question mark millimeters mercury is equal to 0.62 atmospheres dot line, we set up our conversion factor so that the unit atmospheres cancels out. So we put one atmosphere in the denominator, which is equal to 760 millimeters mercury in the numerator, and we get 470 millimeters mercury. Final sample problem. Determine the gas pressure in atmospheres in the open-ended manometer below. So we want pressure in atmospheres. And what are we given? We're given a manometer to look at. So let's look at this manometer. What we notice is that the column of mercury is lower in the open end. When the column of mercury is lower in the open end, we see that the air pressure is going to be greater than the gas pressure. So the gas pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure. So we know that the pressure of the gas is going to be equal to the air pressure minus the height difference. So it's going to be 0 0.960 atmospheres minus 45 millimeters mercury. So our given, we really need to be able to figure out what that 45 millimeters mercury is in atmospheres. So our conversion factor to go from millimeters mercury to atmosphere is that 760 millimeters mercury is equal to one atmosphere. Question mark wanted, question mark atmospheres is equal to the given 45 millimeters mercury dot line. We set up our conversion factor to cancel out millimeters mercury. So we put 760 millimeters mercury in the denominator, which is equal to one atmosphere in the numerator, and we get 0 0.059 atmospheres. Now this is not our answer. This is only the difference in height between the two sides. Remember 
that our equation is the pressure of the gas is 0.960 atmospheres minus 45 millimeters mercury. Since we've converted 45 millimeters mercury to atmospheres, we're going to change that to 0.960 atmospheres minus 0.059 atmospheres, which now we can subtract, and we get a pressure of the gas as 0.901 atmospheres. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemistry videos and practice problems, help from our online chemistry community and the chemistry question of the day delivered to your inbox, sign up at chemin10.com. Membership is free and we'd love to have you. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin 10.